is us podcast today i have the originals who um so d first started with me uh in 2016 we sat across from each other um and i remember uh i remember looking at you and saying okay d what do i do now and you're like go out and get agents right so we had a small office on king street um what a reminder every time i drive by uh, literally one desk, uh, we worked on the same desk, looked across from each other, and now we're here in this big office, uh, 3,000 square feet. Glenn uh, joined us a year after. March 2018. Oh, two years after, so it would have been two years after. Um, but Glenn, I always use your case because you've changed so much um, as, a, as a human, like it's just amazing how you are as, uh, as a human being right now. Let's get your perspective on, I remember the first time that I actually gave you my vision and said, this is what I want to do. And you're like, I'm you not go. interested. She broke up with me. <laughs> so essentially she cut me off her. and then, yes, you did. It was out of Michelangelo's. I'm like, I met her. I was nine months pregnant with little Z and I'm like, oh, I like her a lot. I love, I love how you were so friendly. Uh, we sat next to each other at a table. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to tell her what I want to do. This is my vision. And I, I was on the phone with you yeah. and you're like, I'm not leaving my current brokerage. And I'm like, wah, 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 not going to work out. <laughs> it's but that is true. It is true. So, and then eventually she called me out of the blue and she was like, I'm not happy where I'm at. Yeah. Right. And then we, we started together and we were right across. So tell me, I want to know like your perspective. You were the original, original person to hear the vision. Uh, what I had on my vision board, what I wanted to do. Um, Tell me what your thoughts were when you first, she broke up with me, but she, she won't say she did, but she did. She no, you know me. what it was? It was the fact that you're comfortable where you are and then you're scared to make that jump. Cause you know what I mean? Cause you, it's the fear of the unknown. Yeah. And I didn't know you to say, well, I, I've known you for years, right? So, but when I finally, you know, thought about it, I was like, you know what? No, it, it's time for a change. You know, then when I joined with you, it was like, you wow. were the, the first one like you were i remember being across from you and i'm like d what do we do now and you're like go out and get agents i remember that and yeah. i'm like go out and get agents like how the hell do i tell people you know because you broke my heart the first time so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it, it's just amazing like do you remember that like oh 100 percent. i remember sitting there like you were at the end of this table i was here because that's literally how big our office was and i was even like what what do we do now yeah <laughs> I was like, what's my role here? And it's so crazy how, you know, how much has evolved from where oh, you God. are now to where we are today, where I, where I came from, from where I first started to where I am today. If you asked me to sit here doing this right now, like three years ago, I would have been like, there's no way. Like I would never be sitting here talking because yeah, I'm an outgoing person once people get to know me, but you know that I get very shy or timid to be in front of anyone, especially talking about myself. Right now, I can just sit here and talk for hours. It's true. It's <laughs> but, true. But um, the amount of um, the things that I've learned, you know, when when you learn from from the best, you know, you become the best. And you know, for me, that's like my number one. I wanted. To, I had a vision for myself where I wanted to be in five years. And if I stayed where I was, I would never be where I am now. So let's talk about that. Let, let's touch on that, Dee. So you started as my assistant, Yep. right? Where are you today? Now I am going to be leading my own team, you know, so which... <laughs> Do you remember January? So January was a hard conversation. Yeah. Um, it was really hard. So I do want to say, uh, you guys did support me big time through my dad's passing. I don't, I don't know if I could have done without you guys. Um, but I, and I thank you guys for that. I always do where I was, when I was down, you guys picked me up. Right. So, um, but let's talk about January. Uh, we sat in this boardroom yep. and I said, D I don't, I don't think your role, uh, is my assistant anymore. I think you can be a leader. And I remember, <laughs> I remember your face. You're like, um, maybe I should just stay as your assistant, but I did push you out of the nest, yeah. right? I did. And yeah. I remember 
we both cried, but it was more about, I cried because I, I didn't want you to go through that fear. And it's always, and Lisa said it best. I'm like mom, right? So yeah. I knew she needed to do her own team. She was ready to be her own leader, right? And and it, and it worked, right? So now Squirrel Financial was born um, about two months ago yeah. and you're doing awesome. Yeah. You know, you're a part of the community. Uh, you started a foundation, um, but that's, that's where I wanna see my agents end up, you know, successful and on their own, right? Um, and I, I'm so proud of you. Like I, I, I remember you looking at me and saying, I don't think I can do this, but you did, right? So yeah. how, how was it like that conversation in the boardroom talking to you about that, right? It, I was scared, like, don't, don't kid yourself. I was scared. I was like, can I just come back to be your assistant if I can't do this? <laughs> and I did say yes. I did say yes for sure. But I knew I knew you you would be successful. No, and you now now and you said it. You said by June you are going to be thanking me, and I thank you because now, you know, I learned so much being your assistant, right? And I think I needed that that push. I pushed her out of the nest. Yeah, she fell out of that nest. And then it she was really like, <laughs> it was your, it was your pre uh, prerequisite. Yeah, you know exactly. It's like the best training in the world to get start there and move on to the next level. It's just like you had, you were set up for success. Yeah. Well, it was great because I was forced to take on deals yeah. that were out of my element. Yes. You know, because when you're just constantly doing, say, just first time home buyer deals, same, same type over and over. Then when you get put into position where you're exposed to privates, B lending, mm -hmm. you know, tons of refinances, it's like, oh my God, can I do this? Mm -hmm. And then you just do it because yeah. <laughs> you have to do it because you're responsible for somebody else's book of business. Mm -hmm. You damn right, you got to do it. Mm -hmm. And but then you, you do that in ways. your business, right? And right. now I've taken that into my own business now. I'm like, I can do a private, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Be deal, sure. <laughs> but you guys Bring are, it. yeah. Bring but, it on. but that's like, the truth is like, even Glenn with you, when I met you, I remember I said to you, and I used this as an example, I'm like, okay, hey, Glenn, and you're probably wondering all the books. I'm like, okay, hey, Glenn, you're gonna read a book. And you're like, I have not read a book in like 10 years, yeah. right? You're I mean, like, I'm not reading a book. I'm like, <laughs> let's read a book about self-development. Glenn, let's do it, right? And now how many books do you read? Oh, tons. I, I think the first one's actually sitting up on that shelf there, the, the deepest acceptance. And I handed it to you. I was like, it started, it was kind of like a slow read and I'm like, okay, let's get into this, you know? But it took me, it took me a bit to get into it. And uh, yeah, since that it's, yeah, no problem. I just keep, I ask D for another book today. Yeah, book so, today. Yeah, we, so that's what we do. We do a lot of like the reading, uh, self-development, um, but that makes you who you are today when you're transacting. Absolutely. So Glenn, from when you started uh, to today? It's night and day. Right? Night and day. Now, yeah, two years. I just, I don't even feel like, um, the pressure, I just take it head on. It, like it, it, when I first started, it would have been like a little bit like that fear base, right? The kind of jumping in, oh, Carmen, uh, I got this, da, da, da. So, I mean, she helped me with my first one. After that, I kind of said, hey, let's do this, buddy. You're, you're on your own. You gotta you gotta take it to the next level. And uh, since then, I, I think I've just progressed in, you know, just in self-development in my business, um, earning the, the respect of, of agents and having them wanting to deal with me. Um, I'm getting a lot of more, a lot more client referrals, which is the next level, right? right? When you start getting people referring you, well, it's huge. Feelings, it's huge. It's uh, you're in the next level when that happens, and it's like it's just kind of like a domino effect now. I find you know, mm -hmm. but it's not um, all about mortgages. It's not. Can we agree? It's not. I remember when we sat and I said. Glenn, this is a lot of work. You're gonna to commit to a lot of work, right? Yeah. Self-development. So, That's right. um, you know, when I met you, and I remember, like, we've all been through tough times. Yes. Like, honestly, like, the passing of my dad was probably one of the hardest things in my life, but without we, you guys, I honestly don't think I could have done it, right? Yeah, so, same. Same thing, right? Same, like, you, know? you went through a hard uh, hard time as well, we picked you up, yep. you know? D, same thing, we're, we're picking you up. Mm -hmm. We ensure that, you know, you guys are, are taken care of, but. Before, I could wholeheartedly say this, when we first started D, because you were in the business five years, I was in the business three years. Let's be realistic, it was a lonely world, mm -hmm. yeah. right? You didn't you didn't have that support. And I think um, now with everybody changing their frame of mind, oh, it's about positivity, let's be a motivator, let's make money off being you know a motivator. We don't make money off being a motivator. You know, I don't make money being off a mo like being a motivator. It's more about being good to your people, mm -hmm. right? Because 
that's what life is about is 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 relationships and it's being good to everybody and being transparent one thing i do have to say transparency huge huge in here in this industry like it's it i remember being at my old brokerage and you never knew what was going on here i'm always open you know yeah. and i i used to say well why am i like that why am i doing that but the truth like the truth is you guys are running your business under tcg lending centers right so you should trust the brand that you're with mm -hmm. right so d let's take it to you and ask you how was the transparency when you started right like before your old company you know what it's disappointing because you're like i said you're promised the world every brokerage because i see it now i'll go on you know linkedin and no, everybody, you say this all the time. everybody <laughs> promises, you know, we're looking for new agents. We promise you this, 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 this. And then you don't know yourself because you haven't been in it and how important it is to have or to belong to a team where you have that back end support. Because we can't keep always going to, to you per se, right? But this is the difference between our team here at TCG the difference between other brokerages is that Carmen's hired agents on this team that we want to help our mm -hmm. fellow agents. Mm -hmm. We're not in competition with one another. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if I can, I can send a message on our group chat. Somebody's there wholeheartedly wanting to help you to get things done. And I found that, you know, with my old brokerage, it's, you're, everyone's too busy for you. And you almost felt like a bother to ask questions. Mm -hmm. But how are you supposed to get things done if you don't have that support? Like I can text you anytime, Glenn, mm -hmm. and you're always there mm -hmm. to help me. Yeah, or, or vice versa, right? Yeah. And it's never a bother. No. And we're not alone. Like I, I no. always felt that the broker world and anybody out there that's a broker or a mortgage agent, you know this is a damn like lonely world. Like it sucks. Like, And I say this, if out of these doors, like anybody in a different brokerage and not like there could be other brokerages running the same way, uh, you know, for support, but we're that WhatsApp chat was so important. I remember when I put it together, Zareen's like, you're gonna really hear a ding, like it's gonna constantly go off. But I'm like, I don't want any of my agents feeling alone. Mm -hmm. The way I felt when I started this role, like when I came over um, and I started uh, with DLC, I felt so alone. Like I felt like, you know, I was nine months pregnant and I was like, Oh my God, I can't get an answer. And I was a top producer and yet I still felt like I was a bother to people and I don't want that, right? And I, I remember like thinking, okay, what are the things I wanna change? Like if I were to open up my own brokerage, what would I change, right? And that's what, what I put on my vision board. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get good people. Let's get good people put together. Let's make good people because mm -hmm. you know what? You could be set in your ways. And Glenn, I remember meeting you and I always say this to people, you were so stubborn. You were like, I am not reading a book. I am not, I am this good the do way I am. What, is, what this is this book gonna, gonna do, do for, for me? me? I already know everything. Yeah, yeah, and you changed though, but you've uh, changed so much. You're such a good, wholehearted person, man. Yeah. You guys are amazing. And it's like, it's like when I watch that, like I do, and I'm not one that cries, but Every time I look at the old videos, I'm like, man, they've changed yeah, so much. It's crazy. It's like a blessing. And it's like, you know what? I'm so glad, Glenn, you chose to call me, you know, and you fixed that. Like, I knew right off the hop, I'm like, Glenn, you got that course completed in one week. I want this guy on my team. Yeah. Whether he was hard work to invest in, we did it, mm -hmm. right? And you're amazing who you are today. D, you're amazing who you are today. So, you know, I want to take this opportunity to tell both of you, thank you. Thank you for choosing TCG. First being the Costa Group Mortgages, then being TCG. You guys roll with the punches and you guys trust me. Everything I do, everything I decide, you guys always trust me. And for that, I'm forever grateful. So, you know, on that note, I want to thank everybody uh, for hearing us, uh, for coming out. Uh, <laughs> Dee and Glenn, thank you so much for, uh, for being a part of this. You guys thank are you. awesome. Mm -hmm.